Bogdan, a Ukrainian commander, described the situation as calm but tense in the area around Bakhmut. The Ukrainian military uses this as a way to demonstrate how active things are. On Wednesday, the mysterious Russian air defense system, which was designed for use in Arctic environments, was torn down, according to the Ukrainian forces. The 406th Artillery Brigade used dem 982 caliber guided projectiles to take out the SAM system. The Russian troops are constantly looking for weak points, but they are unable to do so because the Ukrainian army currently has a strong defense in Bagmet. Any attempts by Russian troops are immediately stopped. Chechen fighters attacked Ukraine in trenches after navigating the minefields that dot the area. They killed themselves after getting lost in the minefield while returning after wounding one soldier and capturing another. Soldiers from Ukraine were rescued safely. With spring rapidly approaching, the battles will probably get even more intense. Once the 300,000 men that Russia mobilized last autumn are fully deployed, the Ukrainian military anticipates a Russian counterattack in February or March, potentially on multiple fronts. 150,000 of the trained and equipped troops were already in Ukraine in December, according to President Vladimir Putin. Ukraine says that Russian attacks on a road near Bagmut were stopped, preventing Moscow from taking control of a key supply line for Ukraine. Even though Russian forces tried to block it, the road between Chasivyar, the town, and Bagmut has stayed open. Russian forces have made a number of gains in the region over the past few weeks, including capturing the salt mining village of Solder towards the north of Bagmut. According to the most recent report from the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the Russians are taking a lot of damage. Additionally, it claims that attacks in Bagmut and other Donetsk towns have been thwarted. Moscow has reportedly lost a lot of soldiers near Bagmut, according to Ukraine and its Western allies because it has sent in waves of troops with subpar equipment, which include thousands of mercenaries who were previously detained. In preparation for an anticipated winter counterattack, mostly in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine's Luhansk Oblast, the Russian army appears to be moving a lot of troops around. In addition to being fired upon by their own tanks, Russian soldiers are losing more lives on the front line from their own side than from Ukrainians. Since the previous operational update on Tuesday morning, eight more Russian tanks have been destroyed, bringing the number of Russian tanks damaged since the invasion started on February 24, 2022, to 3,197, according to the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces.